Hey guys, how the hell are you? This is Islander. Welcome back to the newsroom, your source for war robots, news, and rumors. All right, guys, real quick, if you're new to that channel, hit that sub button. Also, hit the bell for notifications so you can keep up with all the things we got going on in war robots. Also, if you like this video, hit that like button. It really helps me out. Okay, guys, uh, we got a few things to cover uh, in a very short time, so I'm going to try to get to it as quick as possible, not drag it out as uh, keep it as short as I can, but I got some information to bring y'all. Uh, real quick, uh, we have a test server coming up. Uh, three new weapons. We're bringing in new weapons again. Surprising, huh? Okay, so we have the Sting, we have the Wasp, and the Viper. And these are going to be corrosion weapons, okay? I don't have any pictures or any uh, stats on it for you as of right now. We will be covering all that in a later segment, okay? But basically what they do is... Uh, each wet, each wet round that is fired deals uh, a certain amount of minimal damage, okay? And then from there, it uh, for a certain period of time, and it doesn't give you a, a time, your your bot will begin to corrode or, or take more damage even though it's not being fired upon, okay? So this is where the corrosion comes in, okay? So your bot will start decreasing the damage whether it's 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 40 seconds, or uh, permanent until your bot dies, Nobody really knows yet because they did not put a time stamp or time label on the amount of damage. Uh, or We do have a, the amount of damage it will take, but not the duration, okay? And this may lead to a lot of confusion. What I see them doing with this, especially if it doesn't have a time frame on it, <clears throat> for those uh, players that like to sit back and hide behind a corner and not really engage or try to sit back and snipe, uh, I can see somebody getting hit with one of these rounds your bot get, begins to corrode, and you got two options. You can either sit back there and let your bot just fall apart, or you can jump in the battle and, and try to get some damage, try, try to get a kill, uh, try to help your team out. So, But uh, I don't have all the, the logistics on it yet, and uh, once I do get everything and, I, and everything is confirmed, I will get back to you with that. So this is not a rumor. This is, this is a fact. These things are coming. Okay, also uh, a new map, roll map, roll map, something like that will be coming out and a new version of the uh, moon map it's going to be uh nighttime uh seen a couple of photos of it guys it looks sharp you know they really put some work into that that moon map and gave it a really cool atmosphere to it really nice look and i'll be bringing all the, that to y'all at a later time that's not the reason for the newsroom i just thought i would throw that in the whole new reason for the newsroom is to bring an announcement to your attention And this is from the uh, developers of War Robots. Okay, uh, at least this time, guys, they're not slamming us and hooking, hitting us with a bomb out of left field. They're advising us of what they're going to do. And this may be the reason why they didn't advise us of uh, things that we're doing in the past because the onslaught has already started uh, on the uh, Facebook uh, War Robots uh, page where players are just going in and they're pounding them. But let me go ahead and go over this with you. Pilots, during the last couple of months, we were changing war robots based on your feedback, okay? I'm not sure what feedback they're getting or where they're getting it from, but it's not coming from the vast majority of the players. Uh, we opened the new workshop, separated the modes, and rebalanced controversial robots and weapons, okay? Yes, that was all good. Unfortunately, not everything went smoothly. We underestimated the impact the new workshop on the game economy. Next week, we'll be introducing the following. New equipment will not appear in the workshop. New equipment will appear in the workshop, not a month as we promised, but two months after its release, okay? So that means the, the new bots that we got, the Raker, the, the Blitz, and uh, the other one, the uh, Invader, are not gonna be available in the workshop. You cannot start building components for it until two months after its release. Okay, they're going to try and get every dime out of these uh, bots and, and new weapons as they can. Okay, starting October 2nd, time component production will, inc will increase the full sheet below. Okay, so uh, in order now to produce these components, it's not going to take you, you know, 20 hours or, or 10 hours. It's going to go double. Okay, if not more. So we, we, uh, we'll go over that. We'll check out the list. Uh, workshop will, re will retain the old numbers for a few more days. So guys, if you want to put in for components, uh, something, a target that you're looking at, 
you know, whether it be a Hellburner or a Mercury, uh, guys, put in it for it now, okay? Use your silver and take advantage of, of the short time frame that we have to, to acquire your your the bots of, of your choice. Uh, the effect will take, uh, the the change will take effect October 9th at, at uh, nine, on October 2nd at 9 a.m. UTC, whatever that time frame is, uh, or time zone is. It will launch production right before this happens. Uh, it will finish under the old construction. So if you put in something now, it will go under the old construction time. It will not take the change, even though the, the date has passed. Change list. We apologize for letting you down. We make uh, we make what, what is promised to avoid such mistakes. In the future, we are working on fixing main issues currently discussed in our community. Our plans for upgrading this coming month. Summarize the results of the separating game modes. Okay. And that is the, the separation that we have right now. And I can tell you right now that the majority of the players are playing Beacon Rush and Domination. Uh, I've had messages from you guys. Uh, saying, hey man, you know what? I, I like to play Team Deathmatch and they should combine Team Deathmatch and uh, Beacon Rush. No. No, that, that's not a good idea, okay? Because majority of the players playing Beacon Rush don't want to play Team Deathmatch uh, because we don't want to sit back and camp. We like the, the in-your-face action and Beacon Rush needs to stay a separate mode. Okay, those of y'all that like to play Team Deathmatch, uh, you know, I'm, your times might have gotten extended dramatically and I understand Okay, for that, for that, you have to enter the, the random mode and hope you get a team death match uh, w without a delayed time. But I don't think uh, regrouping the the modes is a good idea. Okay, so soon after the experiment uh, conclusions on October first, we will learn if the modes stay separate. Improved matchmaking system to lower the numbers of uneven matches. Okay, this is good. They are going to be trying to be working on the matchmaking system, which has been in shambles for quite some time, guys. Uh, make unfair play tanking harder while significantly promoting honorable pilots. Okay, so guys, the, the those of you that are not tanking and you know you've been in champion or you've been in masters and you've been holding your own and, and maintaining your league, even as hard as it is, you're still trying to to battle it out and stay where you're at. Uh, you sh you should be giving some type of promo promotions. What they are, nobody knows, okay? Uh, run detailed research on upgrading times, influence the economy uh, to find the right approach to it. Update 4.4 will include a substantial change tied to equipment upgrade pace, okay? And this is what we're addressing, guys, in, in our no pay, low play, and the strike. This is one of the topics we're addressing. And I'm glad to see that they are going to be addressing this, okay? Uh, what they're going to do to speed it up, God only knows, are we going to get our gold back? Are, are more ways to grow, uh, and increase our, our gold supply? You know, is it going to come back to the Royale? We don't really know yet. I mean, hey, Pixonix likes boosters. You know what? Why don't we do an upgrade booster? How about that? Since we're into so many boosters now, an upgrade booster, can you imagine an upgrade booster that would double your time and you get a hold of one and it's five days. So you put something in, in your workshop and then you can increase your, your, your workshop time uh, by by 100%, you know, that would be great. So, but what they got to plan on doing, we don't really know, but these uh, other changes that they're making as far as the uh, purchasing components, you know, that's that, that that's a real letdown. It really is. And as far as the, the new gear coming out, of course, everybody wants to get the new gear. And that was the purpose of the Workshop 2.0 was to make the new gear ready, readily available for the pilots that, that, that don't don't spend any money, okay? So this is a, a setback for them. It's going to be two months before you can jump in that game. And, you know, depending on what they do with the upgrade times, it may be another six, eight months, ten months before you actually get to use the, the, the boss that you picked up, okay? So this is where we're at, guys. This is where the community's at. Uh, yes, I, I am receiving all your messages. I am at work, guys. I'm trying to get back to y'all as quick as I possibly can. Uh, you know, uh, bear with me while I'm at work. I can't be answering messages all day long. You know, I'll answer them during my lunch hour. I'll answer a couple during my break. And then when I get off work, I make sure that, that, that I get back to it. And I answer each and every one of your comments every single time. Okay. If I miss a comment uh, here or there, it's not intentional, guys. You know, I do my best to answer all of you. Uh, I, I gave you all that promise. But when I started the newsroom, 
Uh, and when I started uh, the, the channel that, you know, I keep very close, tight knits with, with my subscribers. And I like to have our conversations and I like talking with you guys. You know, it, it's part of what I do. Okay, so we're going to be go having uh, follow ups to this. Okay, we know uh, changes are coming in 4.4, and that should be our Halloween update. Okay, I don't have, uh, I know y'all have been asking me, hey, what are the the events going to be? Guys, they have not released anything on the events, what type of uh, events we're going to have, what prizes they're going to be. Hopefully, they give us something good. Hopefully, they, they give us the opportunity to win these new meta bots. Hopefully, we get chances at gold. You know, uh, I really don't want to see more... Leos and, and uh, you know, Griffins and, and these older bots that, that we already all have access to or we already all own. There's really no need to, to throw those kind of prizes in there. But you know what? This is them and this is their, their show and they're going to run it, guys. And uh, we'll do what we do, okay? We, we, we will respond the way we have responded in the past. You know, the no pay, low pay took a serious hit, but uh, they're where they were yesterday when we released the, the video and where they are today is already at a decrease, okay? And with them doing stuff like this, maybe the, the, the no pay, low pay will come back into, into effect. Maybe we can get their numbers down again uh, where, where the players can have some type of uh, bargaining base. Because of right now, as of right now, or as of yesterday, we didn't have a, a road to hoe. I mean, we were up the creek without a paddle. And we were, it was a big crap sandwich and we we're all just going to have to take a bite. Okay, and now they released this, okay, and we're still in the same boat, okay. But they were at about 36K yesterday. They were 38 at one point. They went to 36 and uh, that's, already, that's already changed, okay. They were at 114 rank yesterday. Now they're at 124. So the people that have, were going to spend money and have spent money have already spent uh, their coins, you know, and hopefully that's that we can reduce the spending I'm not telling people don't spend a dime. Don't, I'm not telling anybody to do anything. It is your money. You will do with it as you choose. Uh, and, you know, you're still my friend. Whether you do it or not, I'm not going to judge anybody. And I will stick up for the people that do judge them, you know. Uh, or I will stick up for those that spend against those that, that, that are trying to judge them. Guys, we can't tell anybody what to do. You know, just like we don't like being told what to do. Nobody can tell you what you need to go buy, okay. Well, you can't tell anybody you can't buy, okay. You know, this is a community and we need to come together. You know, those that don't pay, good. You know, those that pay very little, great. You know, and those that choose to spend their money, however they choose to spend money, that's on them and it's their decision to make, guys. Okay? Doesn't mean we should stop being friends with them. All right, guys. I did want to cover all this with you. I did want to go to, to this new message they released. It is not. Some of it is good news towards the end. Okay? It looks like we're, we're heading in the right direction in some parts. Uh, other parts, as far as uh, gathering new equipment for the Workshop 2.0, that is going to take a hit. That's going to take a hit, and I'm not sure how it's affecting the economy or where they're getting their feedback from that it says it's affecting the economy. I don't see that the workshop two point affecting the economy at all. I do see the lack of gold and the lack of the ability to uh, upgrade and the amount of silver it costs affect the, the economy. That I do, okay? And that we have been uh, bringing. You, they've heard our voices. They, they've heard our feedback, okay? But they still not choose to, to address this. Why? God only knows because they will release messages, but they don't really talk to us. They're, 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 there's not a forum board where, where where they'll meet with certain players. And guys, when you're addressing them on their Facebook or on the and the and their uh, and their chat bars, uh, do it properly, do it correctly, do it professionally. You know, once again, don't go in there screaming bloody murder and calling them. All sorts of names and telling them they eat this and they lick that and they're, you know, don't go in there with disrespect. You will have your comments deleted and, you know, if not worse, possibly blocked from, from that particular uh, chat log. So be cautious about what you do. If you have a complaint, bring it up, you know, message them, uh, talk to them in their chat bar, put it out there. They are reading it. Okay. But if, if you're going to get in their face and start insulting them, Expect to have your, your comments deleted or, or yourself blocked. Okay, guys, this is what I want to bring to you. My, my time is short today. I'm actually yeah, talking with you guys on my lunch hour today. So uh, I did want to cover this as much as possible. I did want to tell you all about the uh, the test server and uh, the new weapons. <clears throat> the Sting, the, the, the Wasp, the Viper. 
Uh, the new map is coming in and the modification made to that moon map. It really looks good. Okay, so this is all we're going to cover for now, guys. And I'll be getting back to you with updates as soon as I hear them or as soon as they come up. What I know, you know. All right, guys, till next time, this is Islander signing out.